In this video, I'll show you how to quickly change your cable or DSL IP address in Windows Vista. If you use Windows 7, XP, or another version of Windows, please check my other videos for your version. What we're going to do here is change your real IP address, meaning the one issued by your ISP. If you wanted to change the geographic location of your IP address, or to hide the one issued by your ISP, I'll mention some options for that at the end of the video. Now, before getting started, please make a note of your current IP address by going to findmyipaddress.com, check your IP, and write it down for comparison later. Next, if you're using a router, the first step of this process will be to unplug your router and connect your modem's cable directly into the back of your computer. If you're on a home computer, this shouldn't be too difficult. Same goes for a laptop. Just plug the modem cable directly into the laptop. After doing this, give the connection 10 seconds or so to reset, and then go to any website to confirm that you have an internet connection. Maybe try google.com. Actually, you probably won't have a connection, in which case you'll need to restart your computer to get your internet connection back. After restarting, please make sure you can open a website or two before proceeding. Okay, the next steps are for everybody. Click your computer's Start menu icon, go to All Programs, then Accessories, then click Command Prompt. When the Command Prompt appears, type ipconfig space slash release. It's important for there to be a space before the slash, then hit Enter. Next, unplug your modem from its electrical outlet. If your modem has a backup battery, then remove that as well. After unplugging the modem, wait at least 15 seconds. Then go back to your Start menu, Control Panel, Network and Internet, Network and Sharing Center. Then on the left side of the screen, click Manage Network Connections. Find the icon for your local area connection, right-click it, and select Disable. Next, plug your modem back in and wait at least another 60 seconds for all the modem lights to begin blinking normally again. Once the lights are blinking as usual, right-click on Local Area Connection again and click Enable. Then wait at least another 30 seconds or so. At that point, go back to findmyipaddress.com to confirm that your IP address has changed. If you get any type of connection error, you may need to restart both your modem and computer at the same time in order to get the connection back. In most cases, you should now have a new IP address. If so, congratulations. The only major drawback of this method is that the frequency with which you can use it is somewhat limited by the policies of your ISP, meaning you might not be able to use it very often. You'll have to at least wait a certain period of time before it will work again, and that period of time is dictated by your ISP. Also, this technique will not change the geographic location of your IP address. If you need to change your IP address often, or if you wish to change its location, you'll probably be better off using a service that relays your connection through a remote and private IP address. One example is iPrivacyTools.com, which adds a drop-down list of IP locations to your Internet Explorer or Firefox web browser. However, if all you want to do is get a fresh start with a new IP address from your own ISP, then the method we just covered should work just fine for most people. Also, for those of you who were using a router initially, you should be able to reconnect it now. You might also need to restart all three devices, meaning your computer, modem, and router, to get the connection reset. Thanks for watching.